videos thank you so much for joining me this is going to be a 72 hour forecast for december 22nd until the 25th any information that you name what <laughs> any information you may be needing will be listed in the description so just check there um if you want to join my patreon community it's lit over there i have so much content on the way for you guys you just don't understand um and i've been shooting out a lot of content for you guys already so definitely join my patreon community if you want to be a part of the fam um subscribe all that jazz to book a session that information will be below and let's go ahead and get into the reading i know y'all didn't come for all of that Okay, so what I was feeling when I was meditating on your energy, somebody who was who's really pissed that you or angry at you kept like interfering in the messages that I was trying to channel. Like somebody is either really upset with you because you decided to remove your energy from them. Like this is you deciding, you know what, I'm not going to give my energy to this relationship, to this person, to this situation. And they're like pissed at you essentially. Or it's like, even some of you could be upset with somebody where it's like, you find out some information about them and it's like, damn, I really can't trust this person. Or like something has you effed up. <laughs> That's just what I'm feeling here. Something has you effed up. Something has you messed up completely. And you may be wanting to check somebody, go off on somebody. It may not even be you wanting to check anyone. It may not even be someone to check, but you may be needing to blow off some steam here. Okay. Also during this time frame, there could just be little things that are like annoying i don't see any like huge challenges or anything like that this could be simple stuff like losing your keys when you have to go to work in 20 minutes or something like that and then being like 20 minutes late because of the fact that you can find your keys or like your your dog uh running away but then coming back after like searching for them or them being in front of your house like after searching the neighborhood for them like little annoying or annoyances there you go little annoyances that may be coming up could be uh, something you need to make sure you're not letting affect your energy or make it to where like a good day turns terribly bad because of one problem um, another thing I was feeling when I was meditating on your energy um, I kept hearing patience the word patience uh, so there may be a need for you to make sure that with any creative projects during this time frame that you keep that same momentum, you keep fueling those things and you don't give up. And just because you don't necessarily see like your energetic shift kind of be outwardly expressed like through physical changes, just because you don't see those changes happen um, doesn't mean that they're not happening because um, it all starts from within. Once you change the way you view things, the way you go about things, then you'll have an outcome change. And it may take some time for the energy outwardly to uh, catch up, if that makes sense. Um, another thing I was feeling... Okay, so... Some of you are in a connection with somebody and you guys have two different ways of handling things, like just two different types of energy. You may be somebody who's more like straightforward um, to the point and your partner may be more, you know, reserved and not so straightforward, you know, or like in different ways, you guys are different. And this could be a relationship where it really could benefit you too, in terms of you guys having two different ways of going about things or even thought processes okay um but there needs to be a good balance between the two because there could be moments where there's a lot of misunderstandings because of the fact that you guys aren't getting where each other's coming from and you may have you know one way of seeing things and this person may have a more unorthodox way of seeing things so it's like finding a, a middle ground here but I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera so we can get even more in depth. Let's do a spread. And yeah, let's go ahead and head over there. Scorpios, let's see what December 22nd through the 25th has in store. Do a spread. <clears throat> Scorpios. Okay. So this is going to be a five card spread and let's go ahead and get into it. So the first card is going to represent the current energy 
and I have the three of wands. So this is future plans gardens. So with this coming up as the current energy, a lot of you are in this very idealistic, um, what's the word? Uh, idealistic, this Virgo like energy, even though this is like wands, that we're looking at which is like fire the fire element this feels like tapping into that inner virgo energy even though you're not a virgo it's like being very meticulous trying to plan out every detail that you're about to basically put into motion or every detail of the actions that you're about to put into motion um this is looking at also where you want to be in the next three months or even three years if you want to look that far out and realizing that in the now there are some steps that you need to take some actions that you need to put into action in order for you to make your future plans or your your desires a reality and I think that's also where that fire energy kind of comes in as well, because it's desire that's kind of fueling your actions and your very like the the want that you have for the things that you're trying to accomplish is what's going to keep you going, keep you fueled. Um, a lot of you are also like in the space of finally kind of turning your back on the past after realizing that maybe past energies, people's uh places things they just don't align with where you're headed and even though this is painful it's like i gotta keep going a lot of you are in that space now looking at love specifically i do have the death card and a lot of you are single so you could be focusing on yourself or on the brink of change within your love life now this could be change for the better or for the worse it really depends on what your situation looks like of course this is still general but with the death card, there's changes that are, are manifesting in your love life, okay? Some of you literally just ended a relationship or somebody may have broken up with you. Or for my singles, this is like you changing your view on love. You may have been single for so long because you may have had a destructive view in regards to love. And there's a lot of you putting things to bed that you didn't fully put to bed before. You may have still had hope for an ex to come back from like a year ago or a couple months ago. And it's like, okay, I'm ready to let that go so that I can actually love again. All right. This could be the dynamic of your relationship changing. Some of you are kind of sick and tired of your person. Okay. We are in that Venus retrograde energy in Capricorn. So that could be a thing as well. Now... When it comes to your career, I do have the King of Wands, which is the provider of authority and charm. So this feels like you guys are extremely motivated to get the bag for one. Um, and a lot of you, if you work in like a customer service job or a job where you have to use a level of authority and charm, like take charge and actually like show up and be charismatic. Um, that's why I said customer service. You guys may really be able to bring in the big bucks during this time frame. Um, so definitely make sure you're putting your best foot forward. Um, a lot of you are also having the energy to get like creative stuff done. Only thing you want to kind of shy away from is like having all this energy to create and then kind of getting frustrated with either your ideas not making sense on paper after like what you visualize, you put it on paper, you're like getting frustrated because it's not looking the way you want it to look. Or even like getting frustrated because you have so much energy to create and you're creating, you're putting it out, but then feeling as if like the results that you would like to get aren't manifesting as fast. Um, you have to be diligent, especially with this Capricorn energy and all these planets we have in Capricorn at the moment, you really do need to be aware of structure and building during this time frame all right this is no time to play this is serious business now advice for you i do have the knight of wands and this is the messenger of acting first and thinking later um so this is making sure you're not making impulsive decisions um or any decisions that you're gonna have to kind of look back and be like you know what maybe that wasn't the best decision all right Especially with this Venus 
retrograde that's happening as well. You want to be careful of like wanting to go back to exes that you know you shouldn't go back to. Wanting to revisit situations that are very inconsistent, you know? Especially a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, who may be around for a good time, but not a long time, you know? This is making sure you're not falling for sexual connections on an intimate level in terms of like trying to commit with this person because that may not be what they're necessarily looking for and this may bring a level of confusion um also i'm seeing like consistency there needs to be more consistency in your desires your goals your creative projects some of you are kind of like inconsistent like only moving when you have energy when with anything, you need discipline, not just like a level of like being passionate or determined with something like you, you need that consistency. You need that passion, of course, but you also need to be disciplined in, in the way that you go about building, especially on a creative level and trying to make it into something that pays you. Um, but What's next? I do have the leave it all behind place, which is the eight of cups. So for a lot of you, yeah, this is leaving some people, leaving some things in 2022. You could be in a space to where it's like, you know, what? I don't want to smoke anymore. I don't want to drink anymore. I don't want to deal with this person anymore. I don't want to work here anymore. It's like having epiphanies that you've elevated beyond certain things that either have left your life already or you're about to leave behind in 2022. And it's like having to be comfortable with that because this eight of cups this feels more so like you guys are leaving on your own all right and this could be you having like i said that sudden epiphany or having this like impulse feeling to like just detox your life in in ways but this is what i see i wish you the best of luck for this time frame and i will see you later